Hello adventurers and welcome to Canada. Today in this mini lesson we're going to be talking all about eclipses. What is an eclipse you might ask? Hmm, well you probably can't see me very well right now because the moon has gone in front of the sun and is blocking out all the light. Now, if that was a real eclipse, it probably wouldn't be that dark. But let's learn a little bit more about why eclipses happen. The correct definition of an eclipse is when someone on Earth cannot see the sun or the moon because our view is being blocked by something up in space. The two different types of eclipses are a lunar eclipse and a solar eclipse. Which one do you think is lunar and which one do you think is solar? Lunar means the moon and solar means the sun. Where do you think you've heard those words before? A solar eclipse is when the moon glides in front of the sun, making darkness and shadows on different parts of our planet. Because it is only on some bits, not every country can see the eclipse at the same time. If you are on a part where the eclipse can be seen, it will seem as if the sun has put some shades on and gone dark. Now, there are three different types of solar eclipses. The first one is a total eclipse. This is when it looks like the moon is completely covering the sun. The second one is an annular eclipse. This is when it looks like the moon is covering the sun, but you can see a ring of light around the outside. The third one is a partial eclipse. This is when it looks like the moon is only covering part of the sun. Now, the reason I'm telling you all of this is because in Canada, there is going to be a solar eclipse that may be seen in certain parts. I'm here in a lovely little town called Canmore in the province of Alberta. It is most likely that I'm going to be able to see an 80% covered solar eclipse, so a partial eclipse. But before I go looking, there are a few things that need to be right so I can see it. Firstly, there need to be clearish skies. Some cloud is okay. Secondly, I need something that I can see it through because it is very, very bad to look directly at an eclipse, just like it is very, very bad to look directly at the sun. Hopefully no one's doing that. Essentially, what I need is a piece of paper with a pinprick through it called a pinhole camera. What it does is it projects the sun onto a flat surface. Okay, for your activity, you're going to be making fancy pinhole cameras. All the resources that you need will be in the link in the description. Now chances are there isn't going to be an eclipse when you're doing this activity, but you can still go out and see the sun without looking directly at it. Now wish me luck while I'm looking for the eclipse here in Canada. And I'll see you next time, my adventuring friends. Bye bye! Thanks for watching! Why not continue learning by clicking on one of these lesson videos? and make sure to click that subscribe button. Happy travels!